everyone, it's Jennifer McGuire from Hero Arts. In today's video, I'm going to be using the new Hero Arts and Studio Calico stamps along with Studio Calico's color mist. They're called Mr. Huey's. Um, I'm going to apologize right away. I have my finger wrapped up because I jammed it and it's black and blue and I wanted to hide it so you guys didn't have to look at it. So just wanted to apologize about that. Okay, so I'm starting with one of the Studio Calico Hero Arts background stamps. This is a cling stamp. I'm just going to leave it laying on the table. It's easier to stamp backgrounds that way for me. And I'm stamping it with Versamark ink on a piece of blue cardstock. Hero Arts and Studio Calico have teamed up to bring you the best in design and quality. And I think you'll really love the stamps that they've, they've come up with. So now that I've stamped it with Versamark ink, I'm going to shake on some clear embossing powder and heat it, which will result in a tone-on-tone -tone background. Now on this background, I'm going to spray some of the Mr. Huey's Color Mist. This is the um, Calico White. It's the only one of theirs that is opaque. All of them are really saturated in color. They are um, more like a paint mist than a water, really watery mist, which I love about them. So that white, you can see, hides some of the color. If I put a lot on, I could completely hide it. But I just want a little bit. And now this is a new Calico Shine. It's a new one from Studio Calico. And it gives a pearly look that I really like. So I'm adding that too. And instead of letting them dry, I'm going to just wipe this off with a baby wipe. Kind of buff away the extra because I don't want the background to be super light. And since that white is opaque, it really hides the color. So I'm wiping it away so I get this kind of cloudy, misty background look. It's really amazing. And all they have a bunch of different colors. And they're all very saturated, but this white is unique in that it's very opaque. So I've just added a little bit more of the shine so I get this really cloudy, misty background. I really love it. So this is one of the new Studio Calico Hero Arts clear sets. This one's called Hooray, and I like that it's got these little flag banners or whatever. And they're it's supposed to be used for flags, but I'm going to actually use them as Christmas trees on this card. I like to use stamps in different ways so I can get more out of them, kind of justifying spending the money on my stamp sets. So instead of flags, we're going to be creating some Christmas trees. So I'm just taking a few of the flags off, and I actually grabbed a cloud too, and I am put it onto my stamp press. You could, of course, use an acrylic mount here instead. And I'm using my Versamark ink, just a sticky clear ink. I had that on upside down, sorry about that. Um, sticky clear ink, and I'm going to stamp this. This is just on our snow layering paper. It's a nice white cardstock that's great for stamping. So I'm going to press this real good, and then I'm going to add some white embossing powder. I could use uh, any kind of ink here uh, that is permanent, uh, but I really like the color of the mist against the white embossing powder, which you'll see in a second. So I'll just zap this with a heat gun so that they're all um, nice and white embossed. Now I'm going to grab some of the other Mr. Hueys. This is called Estate Green, and I'm going to squirt it right onto my craft sheet, which is a work surface. You could also just spray it on a piece of um, plastic packaging to mix on and then I added some of the Studio Calico Shine. So now I'm just going to mix it with my paintbrush and paint it right onto the image. Now since these are really saturated mists, they're great for painting with. I absolutely love them. Uh, a lot of mists are a little are really weak and light for a watercolor look but this is really nice and saturated so you get very vibrant images. This is the Green Gable and I'm going to add some shine to it also and paint that color on too, so you can get a little variation in color. Another thing I like about these color mists from Studio Calico is that the packaging, the color in the packaging is actually very true to the color that you get when you spray it. So I just buff these with a, paper, with a uh, baby wipe, just gently, and you get these great images that are bright white against the color. Now this is the Heirloom Blue, and I'm just spraying on my craft sheet, add a little bit of the shine, and I'm actually spraying some of the calico white onto it too to lighten it up because it was way too dark as what as it was. So you can take any other colors, add a little bit of white to it also, and get a lighter shade so that I can paint in these clouds. And again, I'm just gonna wipe this off with a baby wipe. If you leave this to dry, it'll just color your embossing, which can give a really cool textured look, but I wanted the white to show through. This is one of the new 6x6 paper pads from Studio Calico. I really like the design and colors of their papers, and now I also like that the stamps really coordinate quite well with the papers. So I'm going to tear a piece of this like ledger print paper. Uh, and I was going to do white on the card, but I like that this neutral printed paper actually tones down all the bold colors I've got going on. So this is a new set from Hero Arts. It's one of our new holiday sets. And I'm going to stamp a greeting with black ink onto this pattern paper. 
Uh, now that background, I've let it dry. Uh, you can zap it with a heat gun to kind of move things along too. Uh, but I just let it air dry and I made sure I buffed it good so that the letters stood out. So I'm going to glue this piece right against the background and then just trim off the extra. Now these are strips of thin, just thin strips that I cut from one of the brown pattern papers from the 6x6 pad and I'm just going to use them for trunks on the tree. Again, these were supposed to be flags, but you can see that you can use them for trees also. So I'm just going to glue these little strips down and trim off the extra. Next I'm going to add my little white clouds. Just glue them on there. I put some of them flat and some with foam dots. And then I'll mat this all with brown paper and put it on a white note card. So I hope this shows you some fun things that you can do with the Hero Art Studio Calico stamps along with the Studio Calico uh, color mess. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions please visit the Hero Arts blog.